Hi, so, um, <clears throat> this will be my final attempt at reading this, okay? Is a response to this thing where, like, the, you know, I'm probably well behind on all this shit, it's this shit, you know? There's, like, this dude who's, like, owns an esports team from Australia, and, um, yeah, he's complaining about the fact that they can't come to America because the visa has been cancelled for the trip. And I'm going to be speculating about why that might be the case. And it gets me a little bit fired up. I'll just preface this quickly, saying that although I'm not a degenerate in a sports sense, or an esports sense, I do make YouTube videos. Anyway, this is a video essay called Having Thoughts About Esports. All right. <clears throat> the problem with esports is the same problem with sports. It is degenerate activity that no one should be obsessed with. Sport is degenerate for the players because it is easily corrupted by drug use. Whether or not this is the case, it's little else but a chance for another go for lazy or incompetent surgeons or brain injury specialists to hope about. And for the odd fuckwit who likes to gamble to sometimes get a windfall and buy a round of drinks for the boys or a night on the town for his lady and feel good about himself for not having such a bad brain injury of his own that he didn't start betting it all on the next season. Or worse, the degeneracy involved with esports is probably like the grandson or son of worse. The son or grandson of worse has learned from the great grandson of someone whose dad and great granddad were only better off because of how bad it got with their great great granddad. Their mum barely knew him. High level esports, competitive video gaming, how do you cheat at that? Well, you don't necessarily cheat at it. You study the game you're playing and the way those you play it against play it and you fucking strategize. The other side of the world and the speed of light. The other side of the world and the speed of <laughs> light. Anyway, so recently, as in like 10 minutes ago, I heard about something called Apex Gaming. Apex Gaming is some kind of worldwide esports community, but it might also be a way of dragging some actor slash rich kid slash fentanyl addict slash 25 year old slash Sigma male slash YouTuber through all the stupid mud that he is surrounded by. I think he isn't that fucking stupid. If the ping differential is what I think it is, and he has a head on his shoulders, he has 200 ton ping differential insurance and has thought about how to win when worse comes to worse. And his Apex gaming team are like, nah, get fucked. We aren't wasting our Australian summer to prove that we cheat using the ping differential. We'd prefer to just be allowed to be honest about the fucking ping differential. You are using old technology to scam horrible children. Look, you were scammed. It was inevitable. Maybe the next generation doesn't have to lose their family's wealth over it or something. Maybe we can soften the blow when they're about 12 or 13. Hey! The game is basically playing itself for you. It's on hard mode, but technically it's just hard mode for you. Because you get moody if you can't figure out the Skyrim blah blah blah. Billions of dollars in esports, hey? So here's the real corruption. Let's say a generous 10% of those billions is spent on paying players, keeping them well, preparing them, preparing them for extreme failure, and or a life fit for an earthling. Not an overly imaginative banker. That the 90% is for cheating. That the other 90% is for cheating. At the esports themselves. Obscuring how they're cheating. Gambling, legal, and otherwise. Seriously, so much more of the human will is being dedicated to overly imaginative bankery than should be. I'm here doing it myself. I am about to speculate the following. Former, insert Australian state or territory here, politician gets call. Ah, so a boy who used to go to our church's mum is trying to tell me, and in a lot more words, that her son has been cheating at Super Smash Bros, playing legitimate sport with legitimate money and winning constantly. Half the boys don't know and he thinks the other half, at least, have their suspicions. But he's in the inner clique and assumes he'll be the fall guy when they get there. To the esports convention, sorry. And can't simulate the ping differential which they use to cheat. What's a ping differential? 
Well, I guess that's why I'm the leader of a Seventh-day Adventist church, which you went to between the age of 14 until you got married, and now you stamp visas in an office in Washington, D.C. Cancel the trip. Let's go sit on the patio. The Seventh-day Adventist church leader takes his phone out on the patio and turns on the camera. Why have you turned the fucking camera on? I wanted to discuss the ping differential. I fucking stopped going to Seventh-day Adventist church by the time I had another one on the way. I live in Washington, D.C., I stamp visas. I make cross-cultural ob ob <laughs> I make cross-cultural observations with my fairly new secretaries for 200 grand a year. It's fine. I'll cancel the trip. Please hang up the phone. Okay, Jesus saves. <clears throat> what the Seventh-day Adventist church leader would have liked to discuss about the ping differential is this. Games like Super Smash Bros or video games in general work with all these little differences in the controls. There is a speed at which a button can be pressed. The variables that go into this can determine the strength and quality of special attacks in all fighting video games, and to an especially wild, ex wild and somewhat random extent in a game like Sm Super Smash Bros. Now, let's say you are playing with children in America from Australia, but you are also playing for money. The American home team thinks it has the advantage because, like the speed, because like the speed of a press of a button, the speed of light also has a speed. It is very fast, but. There are multiple other obstructions, like weather or satellite, shit routers, I don't know, I'm not a fucking physicist. But ideally, the difference is the speed of light, which is not quite instant. So, even if the players are randomized, the honest team will lose. Because if you are behind for the first few rounds, your backdoor analysis can determine the microhabits of the way those players push the buttons. You are at least a couple of oceans away from the convention in all directions. You obscure your way, way in the back door and what you're sending through it, which is probably with half a ton of computer lock and 199.5 tons of overclocked ancient PCs doing the impossible. If they didn't have the advantage of the Antipodean pirate mentality and weren't playing against middle-class children of moderate Christian families who probably won't and don't know anyone who goes to a Seventh-day Adventist church or think much at all or ever about the wider implications of the ping differential. They will always win if they've got that.